Hello and welcome to Downtime Fun. Today I am going to try and solve the nosy puzzle by Alexander Holroyd. This difficulty for this puzzle is level 9, so it should be quite challenging. I have brought out my trusty timer again so I can see how long it takes to completely solve this colorful puzzle. This is a packing puzzle, which means the goal is to fit all 9 pieces of the grid into the frame here. And so without further ado, let's start the clock. So this orange piece here looks like a typical corner piece with two flat edges. So I'll try, maybe I'll put it on the left, the bottom left corner. And as you can see, there are two types of protrusions in the pieces. One of them is a long and thin one like this, and which fits perfectly into the long and thin slots in the other pieces. Uh, there is also a second type of protrusion which is fat and short like the one here. Now this time I will try to be a little bit more strategic and count the number of thin protrusions. And let's see what we've got here. We have one. Two. So the orange piece is two long protrusions, three and four in the red pieces. So in total there are four thin protrusions. And now we count the number of thin slots as well. So here we have one, two, three. And then the last piece here, four. So there are also four thin, uh, thin slots. Not sure if this will help in any way, but the number of slots and protrusions are the same. On the other hand, there are one, two, three, and four, five, and six fat and short protrusions here. Whereas there are one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10. So there are 10 fat slots, and which means there are some redundant slots here. Not sure, but we'll jump into the puzzle and try out some combinations. So I have actually solved a few packing puzzles in the past few months, and every time there is a slight trick when save, trying to save space. So here I'm just looking if there are any other ways to combine the pieces other than the obvious protrusions and slots. Uh, but for this puzzle it seems the combination is not okay and all the pieces are basically square shaped. Given that the frame is also square shaped, I would imagine the pieces in the final solution will be mainly laid out squarely, like so. So I'm trying to try different combinations, I continue to remind myself that there are redundant fat slots. So I don't really need to use all of the slots, whilst I should maximize the thin slots usage. The good thing about this puzzle is that there are only 9 pieces, and you know that you are on a wrong combination very soon. So I'd say the the puzzle is quite enjoyable as it provides constant feedback to every of my moves. At this point, with a few tries, it seems to me that I have to revert to a traditional tactic to find the corner pieces of the puzzle. And also, I start to realize that there is a possibility that there should be some sort of symmetry going on as I see that other than the orange piece, all other pieces seem to have an exact corresponding pair. And at around 4 minutes 56 seconds, I got this major breakthrough. Uh, I randomly put this orange piece at the at an angle, and it re and I realized it fits perfectly with the thin protrusions at a 45 degrees angle. I can feel that this is the key to solving this puzzle, and huh, the number of long and thin slots are actually just a red herring to distract me from the true solution. 
So with a little more thinking and tries, I have almost solved this puzzle. It looks very promising and now I'm getting some sort of symmetry here with the red corners and I just moved the final piece here and yes in 5 minutes 49 seconds I've fully solved this puzzle. Honestly, I didn't think I would have found this key move so early into the puzzle. So it is a bit surprising and a very slightly a letdown for this enjoyable puzzle, not to give me a longer challenge. As expected, the final solution has some symmetry and the orange piece can be placed at a 45 degrees angle in the center. The orange piece can be placed in four different orientations at this and the solution will still work. Overall this puzzle is really fun and as mentioned earlier the feedback is ample throughout the solving process so it felt really good when I was solving it. It seems to me more like a level 7 level 8 puzzle so it's but the difficulty is a very personal thing. The solution is a very good twist which I really enjoyed. Have you tried this puzzle before? Let me know in the comments below how long it took you to solve it. Otherwise that's about it for this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Take care and see you next time. Bye!